Great Wendy Way. I will be bringing you this week's top Broadway news as well as this week's newest Broadway openings. Glee star Cory Monteith announced on Monday, April 1st that he was checking himself into rehab due to substance abuse. Now this isn't the 30 year old's first time in rehab. He admitted he had gone at age 19 in order for similar issues. His girlfriend and co-star, Glee star Leah Michelle, tweeted well wishes for him and received an outpouring of support from all of his fans. All of us here at Stage Door Dish, of course, wish him the best. Of course, we send those well wishes to Broadway and Glee star Leah Michelle as well. It was announced this week that Broadway veterans Sutton Foster and Jesse Tyler Ferguson will be announcing the 67th annual Tony Award nominations on April 30th. Now Sutton is no stranger to the Tony Award. She has actually won two. In 2002, she won her first Tony Award for Best Actress in Thoroughly Modern Millie. And in 2011, she won her second for playing Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes. Jesse Tyler Ferguson is most well known for his role on Modern Family, but he is no stranger to the stage either. He has performed in both the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee and On the Town, among several others. The Tony Awards are scheduled for June 9th at Radio City Music Hall in New York City, and any Broadway show that has an opening before April 25th is eligible. Opening on this Thursday, April 4th, is the new Broadway musical, Kinky Boots. This is based on the 2005 British film with music by Cyndi Lauper and a book by Harvey Firestein. It's the story of a struggling shoemaker and his drag queen business partner, and it will be opening at the Al Hirschfeld Theater. The pre-Broadway tryout of the new musical Big Fish began on April 2nd in Chicago. This musical is based on the 2003 film and the 1998 novel. It has an official opening schedule for April 19th. This show stars Tony winner Norbert Leo Butts, as well as Tony nominee Kate Baldwin. The show runs in Chicago through May 5th, and previews will begin at the Neil Simon Theater in New York City on September 5th, and it has an official Broadway opening set for October 6th. For those of you like myself who can't wait to see Cinderella and want just a little taste of the magic, you're in luck. The cast of Cinderella performed on The Late Show with David Letterman on Tuesday, April 2nd. As usual, Laura Osnes posted wonderful pictures of the rehearsal experience. Of course, you can catch that video as well as her tweets on YouTube and on Twitter. Cameron McIntosh, the producer behind Les Mis, recently spoke with Hollywood.com and had a lot to say about movie musicals. He first said that if he found the right cast for the My Fair Lady movie, he would start immediately. So of course that's always very exciting news. We've been hearing a lot of rumors about whether or not that movie's going to come to be. So the more we hear about that, the better and the more exciting. He also said that with the undoubtedly unparalleled success of the Les Mis film, that a Miss Saigon movie may be in talks as well. Lastly, he hinted that a new Oliver movie may not be so far away either. Based on all this talk about movie musicals, I want to ask you, what Broadway musical would you most want to see turned into a movie? I know this is a really hard question for me personally. Off the top of my head, I would love to see Next to Normal and or Spring Awakening turned into movies. I think the score for both of those is just so modern and electrifying that it would hit such a broad audience, not to mention they are two of my favorite shows. So getting to see them on the big screen would be a big treat. Let me know in the comments what Broadway musical you most want to see on the big screen. And a happy honorary Broadway birthday to Russell Crowe, whose birthday is on April 7th. He, of course, played Javert in the Les Mis movie. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way, and I will see you guys back here next week.